द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ Dear students the cell is the basic structural and biological unit of all known living organisms A cell is the smallest unit of all the living organisms that is capable of carrying out all the activities of life Some organisms consist of only one cell for example amoeba while others may have several billion cells like human beings in multicellular organisms a single cell divides to form two cells and thereafter each new cell divides further to form complex tissues organs and organ systems The cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. It has all the physical and chemical components needed for its own maintenance, growth and division. Nucleus Dear students, the nucleus is a membrane bound structure that contains the cell's hereditary information and controls the cell's growth and reproduction nucleus is a large structure around 5 micrometer in diameter surrounded by a double membrane called nuclear envelope Nuclear envelope has pores that link cytoplasm to the inside of the nucleus. Within the nucleus is present a substance called nucleoplasm. Nucleus contains nucleolus and chromosomes and its primary function is to control the activities that occur within the cell. Nucleolus is a granular body present within the nucleus and consists of RNA and protein. RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. Nucleolus is the site of the ribosomal RNA synthesis and ribosome subunit assembly. Cytoplasm is the part of the cell that surrounds the nucleus. It is the portion containing the various organelles that perform different functions to the cell. These organelles are the endoplasmic reticulum (ER), Golgi complex, lysosomes, microbodies, ribosomes, mitochondria. and plastids what is a cell made up of dear students the cell is the basic structure functional and biological unit of all known living organisms the cell organelles like mitochondria endoplasmic reticulum vacuoles etc are the components of a cell which perform specific functions they are found at different locations inside a cell a cell has different kinds of cell organelles which perform specific functions they are membrane bound every kind of cell like unicellular or multicellular plant or animal contains different types of cell organelles which perform specific functions endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus lysosomes mitochondria plastids vacuoles
endoplasmic reticulum. Dear students, the endoplasmic reticulum is a network of tubules and flattened sacs that serve a variety of functions in a cell. Endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane-bound tubes and sheets. It has structures like long tubules or round bags called vesicles. Rough endoplasmic reticulum RER has ribosome attached to its surface so looks rough under electron microscope. Ribosomes are the site of protein manufacture so RER is also helpful in protein synthesis and its transport inside the cell. Smooth endoplasmic reticulum SER does not contain any ribosome on its surface. The SER is helpful in the manufacturing of fat molecules or lipids which is important for cell function. Some of these proteins and lipids help in building the cell membrane. This process is known as membrane biogenesis. It also plays a crucial role in detoxifying many poisons and drugs in the liver cells of the vertebrates. Golgi Apparatus Dear students, the Golgi Apparatus is responsible for manufacturing, warehousing and shipping certain cellular products particularly those from the endoplasmic reticulum, ER. The Golgi apparatus was first discovered by Camilo Golgi. It consists of a system of membrane-bound vesicles arranged parallel to each other in stacks called cisterns. These cisterns are attached to membranes of endoplasmic reticulum. It dispatches the packaged material to various targets inside and outside the cell. Its functions include the storage, modification and packaging of products in vesicles. It also involves in the formation of lysosomes. Lysosomes Dear students, lysosomes are cellular organelles that contain acid hydrolase enzymes that break down waste materials and cellular debris. Lysosomes are single membranous sacs contain digestive enzymes. These enzymes are known as hydrolytic enzymes. Lysosomes help to keep the cell clean by digesting any foreign material as well as worn out cell organelles. Foreign materials entering the cell such as old organelles end up in the lysosomes which break them up into small pieces. During the disturbance in cellular metabolism, for example, when the cell gets damaged, lysosomes may burst and the enzymes digest their own cell. Therefore, lysosomes are also known as the suicide bags of a cell. Mitochondria Dear students, mitochondria are the cell's power producers. They convert energy into forms that are usable by the cell. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouses of the cell because they generate and provide the energy in the form of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, to 
to cell to perform various chemical activities. ATP is known as the energy currency of the cell. Mitochondria contain two membrane coverings. The outer membrane has many pores on it while the inner membrane has many folds. These folds are known as cristae. Plastids Dear students, Plastids are cells that store specific things. They are large cytoplasmic organelles found in the cells of most plants. But they are not found in animal cells. Plastids are present only in plant cells, not in animal cells. Plastids are similar to mitochondria in external structure. There are two types of plastids, chromoplasts, colored plastids and leucoplasts, white or colorless plastids. Chromoplasts are colored plastids which provide different colors to flowers and fruits. Leucoplasts are colorless plastids. They store some materials like starch, oils and protein granules. Chlorophyll containing plastids are known as chloroplasts. These are important for photosynthesis in plants. Vacuoles Dear students, vacuoles are storage bubbles found in cells. They are found in both animal and plant cells but are much larger in plant cells. Vacuoles are storage sacs for solid or liquid contents. In animal cells, the storage of vacuoles is small while plant cells have very large vacuoles. The central vacuole of some plant cells may occupy 50 to 90 percent of the cell volume. In the plant cells, vacuoles are full of cell sap and provide turgidity and rigidity to the cell. Many important substances for life are stored in vacuoles. These include amino acids, sugars, various organic acids and some proteins. In single-celled organisms like amoeba, the food vacuole contains the food items that the amoeba has consumed. In some unicellular organisms, specialized vacuoles also play important roles in expelling excess water and some wastes from the cell.